What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome, and this is the DJI Mini 5 Pro. And today the video is going to be about how to use this thing to follow you. And it's pretty good, but the sad reality is this drone here, this guy from Skydio that's years old, does a better job. So what's going on with this? Well, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of screen recordings that I did uh, flying this guy, following myself. And it does some cool things. It does a nice job, but at the end of the day, it could do better. And you kind of have to take the obstacle avoidance with a grain of salt. Yes, it will help, and yes, I think you should use it, uh, but also, it is not the end all be all. You cannot rely on it because if you do, you're gonna end up in a pretty poor situation. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing in action and I'll walk you through uh, what we got going on here. So you can see I've got the drone up in the air. It is following me. Obstacle avoidance is on. It is in normal follow mode. I'll talk about normal versus nifty in a little bit. And it's set to bypass, right? You can set it to bypass or break or you can turn it off. I've got it set to bypass, which means it'll go around objects. And those are kind of the standard settings uh, for obstacle avoidance. And that's what I'm using here. You can see that the drone is following me from behind. If you look at that uh, kind of like map or icon uh, in the lower left hand corner, that's where you can kind of decide where the drone is going. So it was behind. I now have it going in front of me, right? You see, I tapped it to go to the F. So it's going to follow me from the front. You can have it follow you from any direction. Um, and it's really pretty cool that you can do all of these different things. And you can kind of manipulate uh, lots of different uh, settings inside of of that, which is which is cool. So uh, play around with it a little bit, right? You can see the uh, the menu in the upper left, and then the turn off in the lower right, or make it smaller. It's doing a good job. You see it kind of light up red where the obstacles are, uh, so it's kind of telling me on my screen. But uh, you know, I find it does best moving forward, not backward. And ironically, this is uh, where my drone. Ooh, here we go. You can see the face. Oh, you see the tree branches? Yes, it crashed. It did not do a good job avoiding the trees behind me. So here I have it again uh, up, up in the air. This is later. So yes, my drone did survive. It did make it to the next day. Uh, and I'm going to do some more following with obstacle avoidance. I, I find that that's when I tend to rely on it most when I'm using it to follow a subject. Now, it is sad to me that the DJI or really anybody else hasn't come up with a drone that does better than Skydio. Uh, my old Skydio does a better job following and, and that's actually what I'll use for a lot of my e-bike videos because it does such a good job. I really wish that uh, someone else would put a drone out there that did a better job than Scottio, but that just isn't the case, right? The camera on this is much better, but I, I use the Scottio drone for my e-bike reviews because I just know it's rock solid. I can, I can rely on it. So, you know, that is sad. It's sad that that technology doesn't exist. It's sad that Scottio left the market. It's sad that Scottio has been pushing legislation to kind of push other people out of that market that they abandoned, right? They only sell to enterprise or businesses. But anyway, let's talk more about the follow mode. Sorry, guys. Um, you can see I have it now in auto follow where the drone will kind of choose where it's what perspective it's going to follow me from, which is actually really cool because it allows me to not have to worry about switching where the drone is. Uh, and still I can get some dynamic shots, which is pretty darn awesome you know here now it's you know it's on the left and in a minute it's going to decide where it wants to go now it's going to go you know back right there are different options you can change the scenes right standard cycling scheme uh, so the drone knows what kind of object it's following what kind of pace or what kind of speed it needs to adjust to 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 make sure that it keeps that subject in frame and you know distance to follow and things like that so it is really pretty good but again not perfect you really need to pay attention to your drone when you're flying it even with obstacle avoidance especially moving backwards or sideways 
right? So backwards and sideways are where it's really going to struggle. That LIDAR helps, but it only helps moving forward. It's not going to help at all moving backwards or sideways. And, and those are where kind of those blind spots always kind of were, especially sideways. Um, you know, there's also nothing on top of the drone. There are some sensors below it that, that help. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. It's great. It's a great safety feature. It's going to help you. Um, but oftentimes I'll turn it off if I want to fly through some trees or I want to fly through a doorway or through a gate or, you know, there's just some things that are kind of close together and the drone won't go through it or, it's, you know, it doesn't feel comfortable. So I have to do it. I have to make that piloting decision uh, with the obstacle avoidance off. So something to just kind of keep in mind. It's great, but it has its limitations. It can certainly help, but it is not something that you want to be relying on. So in order to see whether or not your obstacle avoidance is on in the upper right hand corner, they kind of have that icon. Um, and to go into settings, you tap those three dots, and you can kind of change how it will behave, right? So we have bypass, which goes around an object, break, which kind of sees an object and stops or off, which is off. And then you have the bypassing options, normal um, or nifty. And normal is just kind of goes around the object. Nifty, um, it'll get a little closer. It'll be a little bit more aggressive. Um, so you can kind of decide which one works best for you. Hey, so I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, obstacle avoidance can be great, could be better, uh, but it's not something you want to rely on. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for other videos on this guy, the Mini 5 Pro, or other videos in general for drones, I've got lots of them. And also, right, if you want to see some cool obstacle avoidance stuff or some cool follow me, check out my e-bike reviews, right? They're all uh, done with a good chunk from aerial perspectives. And that actually comes from this guy, the Skydio. Some of it actually is Avada footage where I'm chasing with the Avada. Uh, but either way, I have a lot of fun doing that stuff. Uh, but yeah, obstacle avoidance, good, but not great. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone. Happy flying.